Okay, we are going to open up the zipper and we're going to apply, this is the flannel sleeper, we're going to apply the ribbing on the top. First thing you do is you want the right side up of the sleeper. We take the ends and we fold it in about a half an inch. Then we're going to fold it in half again so it looks like this. I'm going to go down to the sleeper. I pin it on the first place here, like that. And now we're going to just work it around to the other side of the slipper, sleeper. If you feel like you need to pin it, that is fine. Um, I'm going to use the edge of my presser foot again. I'm going to start sewing. I've got to get this back on a straight stitch. Excuse me here, there. Um, I want to make for sure though, I'm going to backtrack. You see this little tab? Make for sure you're far enough from that little tab right here, this little metal tab, because you, it'll break your needle if you don't. So we're going to start again. We're going to start like this. And I'm going to work it around to the other side. Just get your fabric and just keep working it around. And I have about an eighth of an inch above the presser foot, and that is fine. That is probably a good amount to have. I open the seams as I go along. Like I say, you can pin this if that's a comfort zone for you. That is fine. Keeping the fabric folded in half as you go. Opening the seams is what takes time. Now we're getting back to the other side. We want to make for sure we fold this zipper back so that the it the zipper the right side of the zipper is just exposed to that edge and we are going to come within about one inch of the end okay and see I have too much here so I am going to trim that back to about one half inch left we are going to fold that half inch back under like this and bring it off to the edge. Bring it off the edge here then and sew off the edge. And the first phase of the zipper is done. Now, this is where I do pinning as I go. Now we're going to trim this back, this edge back, to about, oh, quarter of an inch or a less than a little less than a quarter of an inch because we're going to wrap this piece around that okay take this and we're going to wrap it around like this and it's called we're going to pin in the ditch see how it is in the back here it's a little bit more than in the front so we're going to pin in the ditch here which by doing this technique the seam is all finished in the back and you just pin it across the front here And now we're going to, when I finish pinning here, we're going to stitch in the ditch here, it's called. And you're going to stitch, I'm going to use my pin, we're going to stitch right along here, all the way across, and that will finish our seam up. 
Okay, we're going to get my needle right up, so I'm going to lose my thread if I don't pull it through here. There we go. Okay. I'm going to pull that first pin out because I don't want to sew over, over a pin. And go back and forth just a little bit there to anchor it. And we're going to sew across here. Over here, excuse me, and we're going to zip it up, and we have a finished neckband. This is for the flannel, and it is finished, all finished. 